Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 18th of 2022, well, it is titled the Gamma Cygni Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, the bright star a little bit below the center of the image is known as Gamma Cygni, which is the center star in the Northern Cross, which is part of the constellation of Cygnus, the swan. And this is one of the constellations that happens to be located near the plane of our galaxy. And those constellations are very rich in nebulae. And we can see that here with all of the gas and dust scattered around uh, that is associated with our galaxy. Now the much of the gas and dust here is being illuminated and that is an example of an emission nebula. So emission nebula occur occurs when the light from a star, especially the hot ultraviolet radiation from a star, excites the atoms and causes them to glow. So normally the gases are invisible, but just as we do here on Earth in a uh, like a neon gas tube, when the gas is put under high energy, it can then glow and give off light. So normally, like most gases, it would be completely clear as our atmosphere, we can see right through things like oxygen and nitrogen within our atmosphere. But if those same gases are subjected to very high energies, they will actually glow and give off visible light, as we see in our image here as well. Now we also see a lot of the dark dust lanes, darker areas where dust is present and blocking out the light from behind it. So rather than being an absence of material, it is actually the presence of excess material there. And in fact, too much material for us to be able to see through. So lots of a lot of areas there. And in fact, those denser areas are likely where stars could be forming at present. So the darker dusty areas are knots where gravity is starting to take effect and therefore pulling material down together. And these star forming regions are very common within the plane of our galaxy being a spiral galaxy, which contains a lot of cold gas and dust, which will again form new stars. So we see star formation as an ongoing process here. Now the emission nebula toward the top is actually known as the butterfly nebula for the two wings going through plus the dark lane going through the middle. So the dark lane through the middle kind of dividing off the two wings one to the upper left and one to the lower right closer to the center of the image that would be the two wings of the butterfly. And of course, as we know, the appearances are just random appearances of the material out in space. And our minds like to put some kind of pattern to that randomness. So we tend to see patterns, even where there really are none. So that was our picture of the day for June 18th of 2022. It was titled the Gamma Cygni Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Don't Crash. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.